Sultan of Rock is here with us today. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Yeah, that's great. Now, you've got a couple of new songs out at the moment called The Bad Guy and It's All Right. So can you just describe the basic idea of those two songs for us, first of all? All right. As you know, we're all living in a time which is filled Mm. with, you can say, a lot of chaos, you see? Yeah. Like COVID-19 and everything. That's the hot topic of the day. So the song, It's All Right, it's... It's about that reassuring moment when you say to somebody that, hey, it's all right. Yeah. It's nothing to worry about. So that that's the main topic of that of that song. Mm. And the bad guy, that song is a different topic altogether. It's it's more about outlaws and the outcasts, you know. Yeah. So, so it revolves around those two topics <laughs> for yeah. those two songs. And I guess It's All Right is a really important song. It's important to know that no matter how bad things in the world are, it's going to be okay in the end, probably. That's the message that I want to deliver. Yeah, absolutely. And is there a thunderstorm where you are at the moment, or did somebody just drop something? Uh, No, you're right, mate. There's a thunderstorm going outside. (laughs) (laughs) So, <laughs> well, yeah, that's yeah. quite exciting. I kind of like being inside in a thunderstorm. It's kind of cosy, I suppose. Yeah, rock and roll, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite literally the roll. So how did you come up with the songs? Was there a particular method you used to write them? Basically, I start with the chords first. Like mm. when you write a song, some people start with the lyrics rhythms and stuff so i start with the chords but the other day before writing that song i was i was grooving into that song by john lennon let it Uh, be if you have heard of that song of course yeah so that song has a very important message i would say so Mm. it's it's something like let it be there will be an answer let it be so that was the inspiration if you if you might consider yeah absolutely i guess let it be lyrically has a very similar sort of theme to it about it's all right and you know accept it and it's all okay yeah you got me right you are <laughs> yeah and being completely honest how long did each of the songs take you to come up with it was basically a, a write off two days mm. so just just lay them out on a paper yeah, and just record it straight up. Yeah. If this is the yeah. thing, like when I compose songs, right, Yeah. the time I write it, like I like to record it on the same day so it's fresh yeah. and nascent, mm. I'd say. Yeah. So it was just a matter of two days, and after two days we have the bad guy and it's all right. Yeah, that's quite incredible. I guess writing a song and then recording it basically immediately keeps it really fresh. And I suppose, do you ever feel like you're rushing it and maybe you might want to spend a little bit of time perfecting it or does that not really bother you? That did bother me, Mm. but I found out that the more perfection, I mean like the level of perfection you go for, it's it's just nothing, it's just like another cloud out there. Yeah. It's it's something to do with satisfaction, I would say. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. So... Have you been recording stuff in your house this last year or have you been going to a studio still? How is all the logistics working? Well, thankfully, I've uh, I've got a blessed father who mm. helped me set up a home studio. So oh, I've nice. been recording out there only. Yeah. I've been visiting some studios, but it's, you know, like studios sometimes and during these times when they don't have a lot of customers, yeah. they try to overcharge you like let's say you you pay 1000 bucks for each hour that turns up around like 4000 yeah for some reason or the other so that was kind of an hassle and i had to find a way out so yeah absolutely i guess there's some businesses that are kind of doing that when things have opened up because i guess mm. they're trying to make their money back that they lost when they shut down but a thousand pounds seems a bit excessive <laughs> Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. 
So, how did you first get interested in making music originally then? Making music, it was the first time I heard the Beatles. Ah. Bands like the Beatles, Pink Floyd, Dire Straits, like the early rock and roll. Mm. That was the day when I, I think, the guitar chose me. And since yeah. then, there has been no turning back. So, mm. that's the day. Yeah. Absolutely. And I yeah. guess they're some of the biggest bands in the world and have been quite successful. So did you dream of becoming as big as them and being a big rock star? Oh, yes. Every every rock musician has that dream, right? <laughs> to, yeah. to go to that stage. Yes, I do. I do have that dream. But it's... Yeah. Uh, uh, I'd say I'd say it's a long way to the top if you if you want to rock and roll, mate. In the words of ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, how would you describe your kind of overall musical style then? Do you feel you belong to any particular genre or kind of do anything that makes your music unique? For me, it's for my music. When I make music, the only thing that I have in mind, it's got to be four chords. Simple, mm. straight from the heart, and there yeah. has to be a rock and a bit of rock and roll in that. Yeah. So that's my style. Like nowadays, you'd find a lot of rock music which don't sound like the rock music people used to make early in the early sixties, fifties, seventies. I'd say. So yeah. I prefer the style of that that era, that that era when rock and roll just started out. Mm. I, I try to focus that sound more in my music. Yeah, that's for sure, yeah. And I suppose it's important to have influences and try to do styles from bygone eras because it keeps it alive, I suppose. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You, yeah. you, get, the, you get the live energy from that, actually. Mm, yeah, that's definitely true. And do you have any particular highlights since you've been making music that stand out to you and you kind of remember as being big? I have to say, I haven't found one yet. <laughs> but oh, that's that's an interesting question, Mike. I mean, mm. I'd like to say that, let's say one day I'm someone. Yeah. I'd like to say that that someone would like to look back on the days when he was starting out and he would write songs like it's all right. Maybe I, I, I won't be writing songs like it's all right 20 years from now, but I'd like to look back on this day and remember that I, I had my first debut interview with Mr. Toby on Shout Radio. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I'll maybe be even prouder. I'll be sitting here being like, I knew this guy and he's famous now. <laughs> God bless. God bless. Yeah. And in terms of the future, do you have any more singles and songs and albums coming out that you're hoping to release soon? There there are quite a few stuffs I've been planning on doing. Probably I'll go with some more singles. Yeah. And later on maybe I'll work on an album, but there's there's a couple of more rock and roll tracks Ooh. coming along. Yeah. And I'll just leave everybody to surprise, I, I guess. So, yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. As long as there's stuff coming, that's all that matters. That's right, mate. That's right. That's yes. right. <laughs> well, yeah. where are we able to check out all the music that you have released so far? Uh, you can listen to it in Spotify and all the streaming platforms of today, yeah. like YouTube, Spotify, and all those places. And you can you can listen to it over there. But I'm also planning to release some um, YouTube videos where you can just click on YouTube and listen to those songs mm. for free. Like it won't be a music video, but it'll it'll be a kind of an audio visual music video. Yeah. Like you you got you got no no graphics going on. It's just a picture and the music out there. Yeah. Plain and simple. Yeah, that's a pretty cool idea. And I guess it's great to be able to listen to a song and have all sorts of cool things going on as well. Yes, right. The yeah. the the idea is to is to make your brain go into a new phase. Like it's it's like like when you see something, you're seeing it and, and your mind is processing it, but when you hear something, it's straight yeah. going inside your mind. So I want to create that impact like 
when you hear a song, you're thinking about past memories, nostalgia, and all those stuff. But if yeah. you're seeing something, you're focused on that. Your eyes are mm. on the screen. I want to take the eyes off the screen into the mind. Yeah, absolutely. It's quite a fascinating concept. And are you on any kind of social media or have a website where we can keep up to date with you and everything you're doing? I'll be building my own website very soon. But for now, mm. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. But I'm not I'm not so keen with Twitter. Yeah. But um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram as Sultan of Rock. So you can check it out there, all the updates. But there'll be an official website very soon. So... I'll keep everyone updated as we roll. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us on the show. It's been great having you here this afternoon. All right. You're most welcome. And it's been a good time. Right? Thanks. Thanks a lot again.